are awaiting a bond hearing for the mother of the so-called affluenza teen. Tanya Couch is her name. She's expected to ask for a bond reduction. Currently, she's being held on a million dollars bond. Couch is accused of running off to Mexico with her son, Ethan, while he was on probation for a drunk driving crash that killed four people. Ethan Couch avoiding jail time using the now infamous affluenza defense. Could his mother be released on bail today? Joining us now to discuss the case, Richard St. Paul, a former prosecutor and criminal defense attorney, and Brian Claypool, also a criminal defense attorney. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you. So, Richard, what about it? Hey, John. Um, this is a woman who apparently took her son off to Mexico to try to avoid, you know, more punishment for his bad behavior. Should she get a bail reduction? Look, bail is basically based upon your flight risk, your ties to the community, and in other factors, but those are the main factors. And I think she's already demonstrated the fact that uh, she has a great disregard for the law by taking her son to Mexico. And if you look at it, she took out $30,000 uh, to go to Mexico. She uh, cut off her cell phone. Uh, she paid the hotel uh, and cash to avoid detection. So I certainly think she's a flight risk, and I certainly think that the judge would be uh, within their rights not to grant her a reduction in the bail. She seems to be the one who, you know, sets the standard for her son's bad behavior. Brian, does she deserve a lower bond? John, the punishment doesn't fit the crime here with this bail amount. Clearly, a million dollar bail in this type of situation is excessive. She deserves a bond reduction in the amount of, it should be somewhere between one hundred and $250,000. She didn't commit a violent crime. She didn't rape anybody or assault anybody. And so I, I, I think what the court system is doing, what the sheriff has been doing, is they're trying to target the mom to prove a point that Ethan Couch should have spent time in jail. And I think that's an inappropriate way to go about this. People should be focusing less on the mom and more on let's change or create a new law that makes a 15 or 16 year old in a vehicular homicide case who's under the influence be tried as an adult. That's what we should be focusing on. Write your legislators and change the law. Well, uh, Brian, but uh, I'm sorry, Richard, to you, isn't it? I mean, she is the one who seems to be setting the example for her son. Is it appropriate to make an example out of her? Uh, when it comes to paying the piper here. Let's talk about the facts of this situation. It's not like she had her son in the basement of the house. She took her son to Mexico. She's already demonstrated her ability to flee. She has the means to flee. Therefore, her bond should be set at a million and not reduced since she's already demonstrated the fact that she may not show up to court. I personally uh, think... It's, it's good. Brian, I personally John? think that you know, hey, some, some time in jail probably uh, does her some good in this case. Yeah, but John, here's the problem. Everybody has been clamoring over the last few weeks about how spoiled rotten Ethan Couch is, how he got he got a deal of a lifetime right. after, and after how he needs to be people. accountable. OK, that, that, that's fine. But here's the problem. If you start targeting the mom and make it her fault that he ran to Mexico, then you're enabling his behavior. He is now an adult. He made a decision to go to Mexico. He needs to pay the price. If you focus on the mom, it's going to continue to facilitate Ethan Couch's nefarious behavior. But when, when uh, the, the psychologist hired by his defense team, you know, coined this affluenza term, uh, Richard, he was saying, look, the, the kid's parents have spoiled him to the point where he doesn't really know right from wrong and he can't behave properly like, a, you know, a member of society should. And it worked. It, it did work, unfortunately, and, and that is our justice system. But the fact that he was trialed as a juvenile, more importantly, is why he was able to get away with uh, killing four people with a vehicle and injuring That's two right. others. The other thing to, to think about is she's facing separate charges for uh, hindering the apprehension of her son. That's one separate thing. When we talk about bail, once again, we're talking about whether or not she's going to show up to court. And again, I, I can't make this point clear enough. She's already demonstrated her ability yeah. to flee. All right, Richard St. Paul, Brian Claypool, we'll leave the discussion there and let viewers know what happens in court today. Thank you both. Thank you. Thanks, John.